べるabout it, Steve. When Travis came to, the briefcase was gone. They must have cut one of the straps. I see. Oh, excuse me. Oh, hello, Mr. Travis. Captain. And this is Steve Mitchell, agent from the States. How do you do? Travis? Steve, this is the courier who carried the briefcase. You've just arrived? Just got off my plane an hour ago. I suppose Alan's already briefed you on those confidential papers I was carrying. Yeah. Uh, according to Captain Allen, you wouldn't be able to identify any of the bunch that jumped you. No, it was dark, and as close as I could make out, they seemed to be wearing some sort of crude black hoods. Yeah. Like this. The Black Hood Gang. The which? A bunch of tough young purse snatchers. Kids in their late teens and early 20s. Left homeless by the war. Where'd you get this? Last week, a bunch of them grabbed a purse from one of our clerks in the occupation offices. She managed to pull this loose from one of them. Well, gentlemen, that leaves it in your laps. Good luck, Mitchell. Thanks, Travis. Captain? Steve, I only hope that these, these kids aren't aware of the importance of those papers. Yeah. If they realize that they're more valuable than the briefcase, there are a lot of people who pay a lot of money to get all of them. That's right. Well, I guess our first step is to make a call on Papa Schlager. OK. Ah, Herr Captain Allen, welcome to Schlager House. Hello, Papa. This is Mr. Mitchell from the United States. How do you do, Herr Mitchell? Mr. Schlager? Oh, you must call me Papa. Everybody else does. Come in, come in. Here, please. Looks like quite a youth center you have here, Papa. Yeah, my kids, all of them. Oh, not actually, uh, but I think of them all as my kids. How long has it been now, Papa? About uh, four years, hasn't it? Mm, five, uh, yeah, five years ago. One morning I found a couple of them hiding down in my basement, sick, both of them, starving. You took them in, huh? Oh, what else could I do? The word got around, Steve. Pretty soon the kids started flocking in. <laughs> they are still coming. <laughs> Pretty nice thing you're doing here, Pop. It keeps them off the streets. Papa, about these black hoods. Uh, I do not like them to hear about such things. That is what I try to save them from. Sure. I guess the bad ones don't stay around here. Once a while, a bad apple gets in the barrel. But when I find out, out he goes. Do you know any of the members of this black hood gang? No. No, but uh, since uh, Captain Allen telephoned me, I've been making some quiet inquiries around, and I think I know the sector of Berlin where we might find some of them. Good. Uh, I might be able to take you there if you wish. It's not far. Oh, fine, thanks. I'll get my hat. <laughs> well, it's your baby now, Steve. I've got to get back to the office. Get in touch with me there if you want me. Okay, thanks for everything, Captain. Okay. you please.
around the corner. Poking around in the rubble, looking for some of us. You know what to do. Yeah. Might as well rest a little while. We sure covered a lot of this rubble. Mm -hmm. You weren't kidding when you said this place is uninhabited. But usually it is not so completely deserted. A child or two at play. Well, let's get going. Hey, maybe this place isn't as deserted as you think. There are many stray cats in these ruins. Oh. I'm going after him. Did you see a guy run by here a minute ago? Yeah, I think I did. Which way did he go? Around that corner. You know him? No, i never seen him before. The muddy footprints on the sidewalk tell me the pawnbroker lied. The kid ducked into his shop. Right now, though, I'm a lot more interested in the pawnbroker than I am the kid. I stick around all night. I find a spot across the street which gives me a better view of the pawn shop. A couple of hours drag by and nothing happens. Then... back to Schlager House. Find out what you can and then wait for me in the warehouse. I'll meet you there. All right. Are you sure he didn't get a good look at you in the rubble? I'm sure. All right. Captain Allen, Steve Mitchell. I've been worried about you, Steve. Yeah. Now, Papa Schlager called me and told me about your narrow squeak. Did you find the kid who did it? No, but I tailed him to a pawn shop and picked up a pretty good lead. But five minutes ago, it evaporated. Somebody shoved a sword through it. What's that? 
The pawnbroker. Guy by the name of Langhoff. Langhoff? Yeah. Ever hear of him? No, the name isn't familiar. Look, I'd like to go back to that pawn shop and look around, see if I can dig up another lead. Well, where are you calling from now? I'm in a phone booth across from 123 Gartenstrasse. I'll grab a Jeep and be there in three minutes. Okay. This ought to do. What now? I figure Langhoff was fenced for the Black Hood gang. Maybe some of the members don't know he's been killed. Oh, I get it. If we wait here long enough, one of them may show up with some stolen goods. Yeah. It's our one and only chance of locating the headquarters. Well, you might as well make yourself comfortable. May be here quite a while. What time is it? Twenty after twelve. <laughs> that looks like my big idea turned into a big nothing. We'll meet back here. Landover's not there. House, house! No, 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 no. Get your hands off me! Oh, stand still, will you? Well, what do you know? So you're the leader of this Black Hood gang? I will tell you nothing. Oh, now, guess again, sister. You'll tell me where that briefcase is, and right now. Briefcase? That rings a bell, huh? I do not have any briefcase. <laughs> oh, don't give me that. Your gang jumped one of our agents and snatched that briefcase. Yeah, that is true. Some of the others stole it, but they did not know what it was. I only found out about it this afternoon. Then I did. I, I told him it must be returned. What? It is true. I did not want to get mixed up with the Americans. Rudy thought the briefcase might be valuable, but... Who's Rudy? My boyfriend. But I told him it must be returned. You sure? I do not have to lie to you. All right, all right, Spitfire. My name is Hertha. All right, Hertha. Where's the briefcase now? There's nothing to worry about. I told Ursula to take it back. Ursula? Who's she, another one of your gang? Yeah. Where is she supposed to take it? She was to leave it at the back door of one of your occupation offices. Which one? I do not know. Well, we'll find out. Stop it, close, Rudy. Yeah, that man with the American soldier. I saw him at Papa Schlager's and later in the rubble. He's a government agent, Ursula. He must be after the briefcase. I better take it back, like Harry told me. It must be very important, this briefcase. Oh, but I've got to take it back. Who says so? Half it says so. They look official. I will bet Langhoff could sell them for us in the eastern sector. No. For a lot of money. No. For you and me? You and me, but I thought you and Hertha. That could be easily changed, nicht wahr? Well, well, what have we got here? One of them. Says her name is Herta. Do you have any luck? Yeah, I grabbed the one we tailed to the warehouse. Turned him over to a policeman. 
Curtis says the briefcase was left in back of one of the occupation buildings. I thought we'd go to your office and check. Right. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot I had the brakes tighten. Hey, this baby can really stop on a dime, can't yeah, it? Yeah, give you eight cents change. Dime? Eight cents? Local joke. <laughs> yeah, well, what, uh, what buildings have you covered so far? Uh-huh. Right. Yeah, I got that. Okay. Oh, you, another report coming in, huh? Yeah, okay, I'll wait. Why are you looking at me? I was just wondering how you got mixed up in a deal like this. Deal? Your Black Hood deal. Is there anything wrong with wanting to eat? Well, it depends on how you get your food. And you have no family. You and your friends get it any way you can. Friends? The other ones in the gang. We all stick together. We all trust each other. I guess you haven't heard the old saying, no honor among thieves. You're going to get your briefcase back. Let me alone. You sure about that? Okay, thanks. They've checked all the entrances to the buildings of all the occupation forces. No briefcase. What? So we're going to get our briefcase back, huh? Come on, quit stalling. What did you do with it? I told Ursula to take it back. I will prove it. Oh. I know where she will be hiding. I'll take you there. Okay. We'll check with you later, Captain. Okay. Ruthie? Ruthie? It's here, sir. Open the door. After the briefcase. What did you do with it? I don't have it. Where is it? Let go. You tell me. I won't tell you. I said let go. You tell me. Or there will be more of this. Hey, ladies, break this up. I will handle this. Why did you think it was Rudy when we came just now? I don't know. No. It was Rudy. He made me do it. Do what? Rudy made me give him the briefcase. Your boyfriend? Go on, you shall ask. Rudy said he was going to sell the papers to Langhorst. Then what? Then he and I were going to run away with the money. Hector. I see. Where's Rudy now? He just left. We had the briefcase hidden here. He is on his way to the pawn shop with it. These are the friends that you can trust. I thought I could count on them. Well, maybe under other circumstances you could. But the life that all of you lead, what do you expect? I chased this afternoon. Why were you trying to bean me? Langhoff ordered me to try and kill you and Papa Schlager when you were looking for a hideout. Langhoff? He's running the gang? Yeah. Then who killed him? Us? Langhoff has been murdered? That could mean that he wasn't the brains. There was someone else higher up that you didn't know about. That's right, Mitchell. Papa Schlager. Give me the briefcase. There is a surprise to you. He thought Langhoff was the more... I sent word to Langhoff to have you kill Mitchell, Rudy. But when I almost got killed myself, 
I knew Langhoff had planned to double-cross me. I only did what I was told, Papa. Of course, Rudy. I don't hold it against you. You don't think he'll let you get away with it, do you, Rudy? He'll take care of you later. He doesn't want any trouble now. Don't listen to him. You've had a pretty good deal going, Papa. You pick up homeless kids and screen them. You send the good ones to your club, and the bad ones and tough ones to Langhoff to put in the gang. Exactly. Come. My car is down the street. Are you still with me, Rudy? If you say so, Papa. And you, my dear? Lucilla told me you were going to sell the papers in the briefcase. And you and her were going to run away with the money. I only told her that she would give me the briefcase. I knew when you found out how much money I could make from the papers, you would be glad I'd done it. And everything would be like it used to be between us. You don't believe that, do you? Why not? You see? We all stick together. Yeah. Rudy's right. I can get much money for these papers. And there will be plenty for all of us. Move. Get in. There too. There too. To the ruins of the Sturmer building. The Sturmer building? You will like it very much there, Herr Mitchell. So much that I doubt you will ever leave. It is a bombed out building with a nice deep elevator shaft. It might take months before your body was discovered. As you see, Herr Mitchell, your life is not worth eight cents. Eight cents? What is this? Just a joke, Herr Mitchell told me. But now the laugh is on him. Is it not, Herr Mitchell? Yeah, I guess so. Come, let's get started. Yeah. Thanks, Herta. At first, I didn't know what side you were on. Neither was I. I guess I did not know there was another side to be on. Yeah. Maybe I'm still not sure. Let's go over to Papa Schlager's. We'll talk about it. Papa Schlager kept a pretty accurate record of all the purse snatching. Yeah. Guess he didn't trust Langhoff. Well, with this and Papa's bank account, looks like the victims are going to do pretty well after all. What does that mean? It might mean you'll get a suspended sentence. Why are you doing this for me? Well, Herder, that's part of that other side that I was telling you about. Suspended sentence. Who knows? You seem pretty good at running a gang, Herta. Some bunch in there that could stand a good leader. Yeah, that'd really be getting on the other side, Herta. I'll think about it. Yeah, you do that. 